without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Happy Patch Day, everybody! It is February 23rd, 2016. Guys, EA is still putting out patches into Madden 16. Guys, first of all, I want to just say that's probably the first time that I can ever say that happening this deep into Madden. So, first of all, props to the EA developers on actually going out there and, you know, making some updates to the game. We can argue about whether these updates are good or bad, but the bottom line is that I think that we're all happy to have much better development support this year here in Madden 16 than we have had at least in the past handful of years of Madden. So, uh, definitely a nice thing. What you guys are going to be watching today is just some Draft Champions gameplay. Unfortunately, this was actually recorded prior to the patch because I wasn't able to get online to play today uh, due to me having some internet issues at my house. So we've just got gameplay from uh, a couple days before the patch came out, but I don't really run any stuff that got patched anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. But what I do want to talk about today, guys, is the various different stuff that was in the patch today. Um, so we're going to do a quick run through of that. Very first thing that I want to point out here, guys, and I think the thing that most people were excited about or potentially upset about was that a whole bunch of quote-unquote nano blitzes using the B-gap specifically were patched. Now, from what I understand, the main thing that they did was they edited the way that the right guard reacts to things. And specifically, the right guard is going to start looking inside versus outside for blocking assignments. So that should at least help a little bit alleviating the B-gap blitzes, especially on the right side. Now, I don't understand why they didn't do it on the left side as well. Um, specifically, they mentioned the right guard looking inside versus outside first. So it's kind of weird. Maybe they just use that as an example and maybe all the players do that. But that should be something that should have been in the game to begin with, to be honest with you. I don't really understand why it wasn't. I mean, that's something that you, if you've ever played offensive line in like Pee Wee football even, they typically tell you to look inside versus outside because inside is obviously going to get there first. Um, it's a more direct shot at the quarterback. So, you know, something to just think about anyway. I don't know why it was like that, but um, obviously that's the big one. The, the nano blitzes are, I guess, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Most people argue when you call it a nano blitz, but um, at the end of the day, we basically know what we're talking about, which is blitzes that get through with, you know, four, five man, sometimes six man pressures. Usually it's like four or five man pressures that are the big issue. Uh, and basically the offensive lineman just doesn't even react to the defensive player directly in front of them. And I understand guys, there are always ways to counter these, you know, block a running back, run play action, slide protect, you know, whatever the case might be. But the bottom line is that they did make these updates. As far as I understand it, most people think that the updates that they made are a good thing. So that's good. I mean, obviously, we're going to see some issues, I'm sure, that come up when you change the mechanics of the game. You're kind of potentially leaving yourself open for other exploits. But I think this is a big thing. I, I think that's the main one. Other stuff that was also updated, uh, they did edit and fix the play calling slash pause freeze that you would sometimes have. I had it a lot. So hopefully this does actually get fixed because that's something that's really frustrating. You'll be in the middle of the game and all of a sudden it'll just freeze. Um, then also some other things like untimed downs um, that that shouldn't happen. <clears throat> so basically, um, like the field goal glitch for, glitch, for example, a lot of people will talk about that. That apparently has been fixed, so that's a good thing. Um, another one, QB sacks that were creating a stopped clock for whatever reason, that was fixed. Um, and then also another one where user QBs will also get less of an accuracy penalty on the all Madden difficulty. So that's kind of cool. Um, so those are the quick updates, guys. I think the big one is the nano blitzes. So let me know what you think about that, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're about to see a rage quit here and we'll hear from my opponent. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. John, nigga, fucking bitch ass nigga. Hope your fucking whole family die, bitch.